though enthusiastically supported by the American College of Lifestyle Medicine, of which I'm a proud member, both the California Medical Association and the California Academy of Family Physicians came out opposed and testified against a California bill this year that would require physicians to become educated on the subject of nutrition, or at least get seven hours of nutrition training any time in the next four years. One of the members of the committee in which the bill was stuck felt the need to side with the California Medical Association against the bill, perhaps because his number one campaign contributor was the California Medical Association. But as the hearing went on, you could tell he was struggling with his conscience. It's going to be tough for me, and I probably, frankly, regrettably, am going to have to take the view of the CMA and family physicians or the peace, because I agree. And let's get real. They're right. We know they're right. I'd like to see maybe a different approach. Rather than hear it, and I, I don't dispute what this young one has said, but rather than hear, oh, gee, it's woven into the curriculum, I'm somewhat skeptical. It affects diabetes. I have a mother who's got a diabetes. We all know that diabetes two, uh, type 2 is mostly controlled by lifestyle. And so it just seems to me in the panoply of things, this ought to be one. And I say all this, and I, I, yet I don't think I can vote for it today because what I would really, I just don't think this is quite the right way to do it. But there, we all know this. There isn't a person here who doesn't know this. So I'm sorry to get so energized, but I know people personally are affected by it. You know, both my parents were affected by it. Uh, we know that. So I, I hate the fact that I, that I, I can't support it today. But if this, if this doesn't get out, you'll work on me. This, it's just, you know, if, if, you, if you rank the importance of things, you've got, I just don't believe you don't think this is pretty darn important.